Hello. Um, hi. Um, I'm going to do a random kind of channel. It's a whole bunch of information that's kind of wanting to wanting to come out. And it's going to be relevant for you. So if you're watching this, divine timing and all that. Um, yeah. Um, I want to talk about Plato's Cave. And I want to just go in and I, I'm going to do lots of short burst videos. Because I really appreciate that when I talk about Plato's Cave. A, I talk for about an hour and a half. And I've done probably... I lost count of how many videos that talk about Plato's Cave. There's probably like 12 hours worth of footage just on Plato's Cave. And it's a lot to take in. It's an awful lot of kind of analogies and versions and stuff like that. But th there's a reason for it, right? And I'm just going to explain it. And then I'm going to sort of explain how the House of Thoth is going to help people, right? So I'm just going to conceptually explain what Plato's Cave is, explain how it will resonate with you, and then how we can help you work with this concept, okay? So... Plato's Cave, as many people understand, and I'll pin the image here that um, is like a reference image that I use that I think is helpful. Plato's Cave is your mind. It is the cave is your skull, okay? It's allegorical. Um, it's literally about, like, it's talking about mind enslavement and mind control, okay? And this is done at multi-tiered la layers and levels, okay? So, for example, the like a basic level of like of 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 Plato in ca Plato's cave enslavement might be the fact that as a child you have to go to school. Okay, you go to school, that school becomes a Plato's cave within your mind. Okay, so it has rules, it has fixtures, it has uh, schedules, it has identity, it has logos, it has brand identity, it has all those things. It has values, it has friendship groups, it has teacher, i.e. parental figures. It's an entire reality con like constructed just with the, through the concept of a, chi a kid going to school, okay? So that becomes a, like, a, like a, a mental kind of um, conditioning and uh, prison, right? And I, I'm not hating on school, right? So this is not like being anti-school or anything like that. I'm just kind of saying that like whatever those kids get taught in school, literally, especially between the ages of like zero and seven, yeah? Everything kids are learning is like gets hard channeled into their subconscious, yeah? So from kids from the age of zero to seven is when they really are heavily programmed. But un unconsciously, right? Like whatever you teach them is going to build the foundations of their future. So if you, if a kid is traumatized in the age of zero and seven, they are going to live a very traumatic life. It's going to be very hard for them to kind of, to unravel all that work that's done when they're naught to seven, right? When you become an, a teenager, and an adult you can't connect with your child yeah you can't connect with that set five or six year old version of you so it's almost impossible to do the work so these foundational kind of like like let's say let's call them like um because they're not all bad right it's good and bad building blocks yeah that is the foundation of who you are as an individual now if some of those stones are cracked chipped broken or plain wrong for you yeah they're not they're not meant to be part of your foundation we need to go in and figure out how we can change or, or rebuild or in my opinion, which is a high, which is where I want to get people to, is to understand that they can smash these stones up because you're not supposed to be mentally restricted and locked into any kind of system or prison. Yeah, your your journey and your reality is as individual as as your creativity. So. It's not to say that people are not meant to have rules and boundaries and structure. That's not what I'm talking about. Like, I'm not saying that everyone just kind of does what the hell they want. That's a, that's a world of chaos. But what I'm saying is that every individual has their own individual unique, like, like foundation stones, yeah? And they're all going to be different. Some kids would really benefit from a, from a heavy, structured, school-like kind of system, right? There are some kids and some people that just lean into that, and that's their path, that's their journey, that's what they're meant to do. You're here because you're not meant to be part of that, okay? And you're also someone who is not necessarily meant to be part of many of these systems, okay? So let's go to the next level. So school being the first Plato's cave, right? That's 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 kind of like the first main one that kids kind of resonate. In fact, prior to that, really, the, 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 the cave before school is the cave of parenting, which is what the parents do, right? And there's always unconditional love of parents, but not every parent is meant to... Is um, not not necessarily every parent um, gets the parent in the right time, yeah, when they're healed right, yeah. So, for example, if you've got a parent who's had a child when they're not healed, all that parent's trauma is just going to play out onto the child. And I'm just being real with you. That's why you're here. Doesn't matter how spiritually tapped in you are. Doesn't matter how much work and healing you've done. 
What I'm talking about are these foundational stones that many people find to be immovable. They literally kind of say, well, I can't help who I am or that's who I am. Or, and these foundational stones as well could even be down to your genetic, genetic makeup, right? So these foundational stones are, you know, the color of your skin because your parents, <clears throat> your religious upbringing because of your parents, your, your ability to, of how you perceive money or finances through your parents, your, your career opportunities through your parents, both good and bad, right? It's, it's duality throughout everything yeah the really important thing to know is that your path was meant for you all that trauma was meant for you and, I, and, I, and I, i'm going to be very cautious in kind of like kind of saying that if you have gone through something extremely traumatic and horrific and many of us have stuff have gone through stuff that no one should go to I am sorry and my heart is here for you and that's why we're kind of doing this it's because you are you are meant to break and build through this you were meant to overcome and achieve this yeah um and you are you already have right you've already overcome it the like your what what we're doing what we're doing about now is just the deconstruction the reflection so that we can then move on to the eight yeah so we're just going up through the numbers and numerology and i'll explain all this one day right Keep an eye out. I'm going to have a channel for numerology that you're going to need to start studying if you don't already know this. But I know many of you do. So these these caves, like the next one in, is a teenager. It becomes teenager. Yeah, but your group of solid friends, your your tight friendship circles become your other Plato's caves. Yeah, so their beliefs and their ideas of what constitutes fun and entertainment will often be be projected onto you so Plato's cave yeah is conceptually is about projection yeah so it's about you as an individual a human being learning and trying to explore and grow and find out who you are figure it all out get in tune with yourself and whatnot but it's impossible because your soul has been cast down and reincarnated into a body and you're having to you've got no memory of your past lives or where you come from or who you are in terms of your energies and your staff family and your ancestors and the deities that you're ancestors and the world that you're connected to both in the upper cosmos the under cosmos the inner cosmos the outer cosmos like there are there are there are realms of like spirituality that, that exist within us outside of us above us and below us and every dimension and angle that you can imagine it's very complicated okay and we'll talk about all that so there's going to be a whole channel that's all going to be about dimensions that i'm going to talk to you about which you know a lot of people with respect a lot of people in the spiritual community talk about astral realms and all that they they the human beings on this planet have access to a tiny percentage of these realms yeah tiny percentage okay it's human humanity has not even begun to explore these realms like it's we are like it's that serious and being like it's that grand grandular can't even speak today it's that it's that big that gargantuan that huge yeah i'm trying to like anyway uh there we go. so okay so let me just get back to play escape so you have friendship plato's cave and then you have your work then you have your higher your upper educational your higher educational your high school plato's cave that tends to be one of the most damaging ones that's the one where you're going through your emotionally your body is changing despite everyone trying to help you learn and adjust to who you are what they're giving you they're giving you the human handbook they're telling you from a human perspective as how the world operates because of this physical civilization and society built around us but it doesn't actually help the inside of you the internal you the subconscious you it has no inner standing or understanding about the greatness of the world and why should it because with respect we are taught by people who are damaged and broken yeah so think about this right our parents they were they were never ascended and they were never healed. Their parents were never ascended and healed. If they were, there is like levels of it's not so black and white and linear. Like there are some parents who who have aspects, but what I'm trying to say is that by and large, if we look at society, yeah, and we look at what's out there and how it's all built, 
Yes, there are beautiful pockets of inspiration and creativity and love and warmth, and that's the that's the inner nature of the human soul coming through right there. Yeah, even without a scripture, even without scriptures, even without magic, even without knowledge and understanding of all the stuff we're talking about, even without understanding any of this symbolism or Plato's cave or any of that stuff, we our human soul will, is is a powerful entity, and our heart is incredibly powerful too. And when we're young, the heart and the soul leads it leads children forwards. They operate through heart like they don't care about the reality that adults live in they don't give a fuck about that and then what happens is they get conditioned and conditioned and conditioned through plato's caves yeah to build this reality in this world that is a fucking labyrinth so whichever way they try and navigate through plato's cave they go out of one cave into another cave and then out of that cave into another cave and they just continually go around their life experiences and what they were educated and taught not realizing they're in this giant mental labyrinth okay I hope that helps clarify like why I'm so obsessed with Plato's Cave and why how and why I sort of why how can I put it like it's not a, like it's not a case of I it's a case of like this is this is like this is these are channels and downloads that I have and I'm consistently being pressed upon by by the by my ancestors and the deities that I work because they understand and understand that humanity has locked itself in multiple caves we've enslaved ourselves and then we've continued to enslave ourselves with more and more things this device is another Plato's cave even the discord is another Plato's cave but I want to say it's a Plato's cave of a difference because it's Plato's cave with a window in it I'm not saying that this is this house of Thoth is is instant freedom what I'm saying is it has windows in the rooms for you to peer out of there are doors as well within this within this house of information but you have to open it because you have the you're the only one with a key to get out of your your plato's cave yeah like to unlock the doors and there's many of them right so in this house of thoth are many different rooms and doors so you may come to this space being really into reiki and that that is your thing it's what you're into it's what you know and we're going to nurture and 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 embrace you in that area but what we're also going to do is we're going to introduce you to other aspects of spirituality and reality and consciousness and upper consciousness and subconsciousness and all these levels and layers of of the human human mind and the human soul and the human heart because there are layers to each one of those things that makes up your trinity my fae know about my trinity um i'm totally getting that fucking tattooed on me by the way um but not maybe not uh, maybe in that position we'll see i'm gonna find out where my my irish nan wants it to go um anyway back to plato's cave again plato's cave right my ears ringing i love it you had to me to pay attention and to slow down Okay, that's what I need to do because I go too fast. Okay, so this house of Thoth, what it's going to naturally and organically do, it's going to act as an algorithm from you for you. So what that means is that the right people are going to connect with you. You're going to have conversations and you'll be invited into different like subsections of the house where you're going to be introduced to more more learned information and more wisdom that's going to help you heal. That's going to help you grow. It's going to help you manifest. I'm here to teach you, baby. I'm here to teach you how to manifest like a fucking magician. So there's beautiful magic coming, but there's a big but some of the stuff that I know is not to be abused or fucked around with because that's why we're in the world we're in yeah because certain people have been manifesting all the wrong things okay so manifestations is uh, manifestations are real and we want to make sure that we're doing this with responsibility now because this house of thought is sacred okay doesn't mean that we're not human we can still you know say the odd swear word and things like it's not a temple temple where we have to be you know all pious okay it's a place of fun and learning and exploration okay there are certain rooms which are more sacred than others there are certain rooms that are going to contain information that are only meant for certain people on certain life path journeys yeah so if you're a high priestess and you identify with the life path number 22 or 33 dm me and message me because i have certain areas and places for you and again we're going to be assessing and verifying i have two of the most amazing high priestesses helping me run this discord 
They are sublimely beautiful and talented on a very powerful level. So the three of us are going to be ensuring that people end up in the right place. And those that are in the wrong place will be put back into the right places. And that's not to be, it's not about hierarchy. Like we, we throw our egos to one side. We are all here collectively working together. I want every single person in this Discord to get at least one aspect of growth out of this. And I have, then I will be satisfied that at the minimum, that's my minimum base expectations for what I want this Discord to do. My maximum expectations are pretty 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 extraordinary and 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 epic right and i want each one each person each person on their individual journey yeah to not only to not only understand their own inner plato's case but to unlock those ones that and and rework those conditionings and deprogram those 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 projections in each cave that isn't working so let me just quickly wrap this up one five and it's about to be one five fifteen fifteen devil number six six but six six it's not always demonic it can be also positive there's duality to every single thing even the devil can have a value right and a purpose but when you're in your plato's cave whether it's at school work or whatever what's happening is you're being projected fear it's constant it's subtle it's subconscious it's like remember to do that for the test at school don't get your spelling test wrong i had it with my daughter today like she she forgot about a spelling test my wife was panicking a bit that's plato's cave that's plato's that's fear for her plato cave i'm literally like she'll be fine it's meant to be. She's not going to fail. She's going to be far fine. And if she gets something wrong or whatever her result will be, it's going to teach her a lesson. Like, yeah, but adults, parents, we have to allow our children to make mistakes and we have to allow ourselves to make mistakes. Like even the mistakes that we feel might be unforgivable or unlovable. Yeah. Like, trust me when I say this, like there is, there is, there is no barrier to love. Okay. And there's a beautiful story. I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to I'm going to do a, me a story about the heart, and I'm going to get that done today because that's a really key one, and it's a beautiful thing. So keep an eye out for that. And like, if you're seeing this, go over to look for the channel that has the that um it's the elements, and there's a the, one of the elements is the heart. I'm going to post a video in there, like either today or soon. But it'll be there by the time you see this. Yeah, that's that's all you need to know. So these videos are going to be like lead you to places. Yeah. So if you're seeing something, you comment. If you resonated and you watched to the end, like this bit here comment with the two heart emojis like this yeah and then that signifies to me that you're ready for the next stages of stuff okay and that signifies to me that you're paying attention you're listening your heart and soul is really committed and you're ready to go into these realms and ready to go down these routes and journeys now this isn't going to be quick it's not going to happen overnight Although I would say some of the magic and some of the stuff you're going to be learning in here is instantaneous. Like once you read and once you see, once you open Pandora's box for certain theories and ideas, your reality changes forever. And I'm here to promise you, I'm here to promise you that it is always for the goodness of your heart and soul. Your ego may challenge stuff, your mind may battle a few things, but we're here to nurture and reprogram this in a loving, kind way. We're not here to make this difficult, pain, this journey painful or difficult. I'm here to do the opposite. I am here. I was placed on this planet. I'm here in your life to show you that there is a way that you can go through the you can you can navigate through Plato's cave without it being traumatic and painful. A lot of the spiritual community and a lot of the spiritual world and a lot of the people out there, all the other channels, all the other private groups, all the Rosicrucians, all the secret societies, all the moon groups, the mother groups, all these things, they're all wonderful and brilliant in their own little way. But what I'm here to tell you is that more often than not, they are operating under um, under constructions of information from channeled entities and deities and and things and energies, yeah, that are still part of Plato's cave. This is key to understanding. Okay, if you if you're part of a Rosicrucian sect, you, that's your own. That's another Plato's cave. You part of the Illuminati. That's another another Plato's cave. You part of the church. That's another Plato's cave. Are you, un, you if you're part of the Laura One and you understand understand that another Plato's cave. You're a star seed and you're in your Octorian family. That's another Plato's cave. Listen, there are layers and levels. It's not to say that these caves are wrong or dangerous or broken or evil and they should be dismantled and broken. That's not what it's about. That's that's effectively collapsing reality. What I'm saying is that you have to discern and understand and understand which caves are healing and nurturing and right 
which aspects of the caves are fear and detrimental to your soul and heart and which ones nurture and enlighten you and, and lift you and like I said this duality and all is something that I'm having to really pay attention to because <clears throat> throat chakra there because I since being incarnated on this earth I have major issues with this reality I have major issues with humanity I have major issues with all these deities and entities and stuff and I'm here to work with in accordance with the divine so look, let's wrap this up now. That's a 20 minute conversation. I'm literally got to go and run and start something else. But expect lots of videos like this. And this is stuff is private to this Discord. You're getting this wisdom privately because you've 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 now joined this Discord and joined the House of Doth. This kind of stuff is is meant for the right for, for certain people here. I'm still gonna post stuff on social media. You'll get all my other kind, my public facing content, but it is gonna be radically different. So expand your mind because i'm going to be un unfurling stuff to you that is just going to be utterly crazy but beautiful and brilliant i hope you enjoy namaste have a blessed day and thank you again for being a part of the house of thoth and any questions comments hit me up drop a message in the channels you know where to be you know what to do don't feel afraid to ask there is no wrong or right thing if you if there any mistakes are just learning and we we just refine and perfect um yeah there we go practice makes uh, progress practice makes progress there we go anyway uh.